Hello beauties, this is Sophia Laijo. I am an Empower Love Coach and a Light Coach Healer and I wanted to do a Light Language Transmission for this new moon in Taurus that is really connecting us to the earth, grounding and all those seeds that we've been nurturing and all that energy and focus we've been putting on now the question that Taros does is everything new that is coming in and everything that it already exists in my life is this is this providing me more energy more life is this uh energy will give me the opportunity to flourish and and blossom and thrive in my life and in my own beingness in the world is this life-giving is this, is this life affirming and if it's not you can just take it out and say have clarity that this is not for me i don't choose this and i don't want this and so i can let it go so it's allowing us to just really look at the beliefs mindsets habits behaviors ways of being with yourself with each other and also the planet that are if and questioning and looking and reflecting are all these ways of being within me are they life affirming are they actually nurturing me and nourishing me so i then now can move into a space of of blossoming of flourishing of thriving and if it's the answer is no then you have that clarity that grounded clarity that anchored clarity to be able to say okay that's not for me anymore i don't choose this i don't want this and you just let it go and you focus on that flourishing on everything that is life affirming and so i wanted to do a transmission to for all of us to continue to anchor and hold the vision that you have for yourself for and for the planet as well I kept hearing my guides telling me just unplug from the old matrix and just become the grid and the energy and the frequency of the new earth because the energy of the new earth is already here. We're just dialing in and sometimes there's moments you're going to see that you, you are vibrating in that energy until you become more and more uh, until it becomes more and more natural so at this time you might be tuning into the frequency of the new earth and then just kind of come back to the old pattern of the old grid and that's okay it's a natural process that actual that process of going in and out is a process of clearing and readjusting and integrating um, at your own pace at your own rhythm so it's also giving us this time to understand our own cycles, our own rhythms, and knowing that everything that is yours, you won't miss it. it. It is yours and it will come to you. So there's no need to rush. In fact, when you feel like you wanna rush, I'm gonna invite you to slow down. When you feel the energy is becoming faster and faster and you feel that you're rushing because you feel like time is you know is slipping by or um you have to rush in order to get somewhere then i invite you to just settle and actually take the space just like okay i'm just gonna slow down now because as you slow down you become present in this moment and in this moment all the infinite opportunities and possibilities are open to you and you're choosing from a grounded space instead of being out there already moving from the space of not enoughness of not arriving like rushing and you're already your mind is already in the future and you actually your mind is trying to push your body into the future and so when you feel like you need to rush, just come back to your space, knowing that everything that is mine will always find me. And so I return home to myself, to this present moment. I slow down, I take a breath and I ask myself, okay, from this space, what is the first thing that I need to do and go from there? And so, um, honoring your own either rhythms honoring your own 
inner cycles. The ascension, the evolution process is happening for everyone. And there's no hiding from this. It's happening. So don't worry. Just know that you are evolving. And the piece here is that everybody's moving in their own cycle. Look at the trees. There's trees that they started to bloom um, way, you know, like weeks ago. And then some of them are taking a little bit. Uh, they're starting to bloom now. So you see some trees already have flowers and other trees don't. And that's the beauty of it because the first flowers to bloom give that uh, nourishment to the bees and then the ones that are flourishing and blooming afterwards will be the continuation of that nourishment for the for the bees so there's a harmony there's an order there's an abundance and this is a space as well that we live and you live in an abundance universe and we're tuning into this energy as well that everything is in order, that you have enough, that you are enough, and that you're here so you have a role to play and that every single one of us that is alive here, being human, being plant, being animal, whatever it is, is giving us the opportunity for that evolution. And so let's dive in into the transmission, taking a deep breath in into the heart, Anchoring into the heart, from the heart opening the gates to your energetic heart, to your sacred heart, that hard intelligence, that loving intelligence within you. And through the sole of your feet, connecting to the sacred heart of the earth and the intelligence and the sacred and loving intelligence of the earth. Bringing alignment, the sacred heart of the earth with your own heart. And opening at the crown and connecting with a cosmic sacred heart that is in connection with your higher self, with that aspect, larger aspect of yourself, with a non-physical aspect of who you are. That holds the larger vision of your soul journey and your divine purpose upon this planet, in this lifetime, in this time. And aligning the cosmic sacred heart with your own heart and the heart of the earth. Returning to the awareness of your heart and your heartbeat. And from this place, bringing the light transmission of this new moon in Taurus on May 11th of 2021. Knowing that you can listen to this transmission anytime, knowing that it will, whenever you find it, it's perfect for you. And this transmission is in aligning to that energy that is life affirming to you grounding it in your life and in the world, tuning in to the frequency of your new earth, of the vision of the new earth for you. So you may bring your unique gifts forward and you may accomplish your divine purpose and presence in your life in this world. Na te ya la te ru wa ya ta ya le hum ma net a ku a la i Trania na ho ye Na te ya la sa i e Ja ha le ya na to wa ki a ya le ho O na tua ya te ho wala ya nei Wala ya nei ya tua hama ya tai Sra ya ne to wa ya ko Taking a deep breath in into the heart Tua ta ya na ta ya ra ta ya la pa wi ya ma ha na 
Taking a deep breath in again into the heart. Natarata kuayela na tuaya na koya mai na yeta yala yan hayeta na hiyala tayo uwale uwale yana hariya tayi. Taking a deep breath in into the heart, bringing both hands into your heart. Beautiful. Have a beautiful new moon. Remember to set new intentions. And I'll put some questions for you to reflect on <clears throat> what areas of my life are life giving. And you can go into your emotions, your mindset, your physical body, your energy. And what areas of my life I can let go now because they're not life-affirming and they're not life-giving. So you can stay with those questions. And the last question is, what does my soul want me to know in this moment? And where is my soul leading me? What is the right aligned action I can take today in this direction, in the direction of my soul and my divine purpose? And you can sit with these questions and just simply allow your pen to write and the answer to come and flow through you. Ciao, ciao.